Welcome to the 14th video of the series Excel for Stock Market, where we create 30 different Excel templates and explain them in 30 different videos within 30 days. Let's start with the moving average envelope concept. So if you remember a couple of videos ago, we, we saw about the exponential moving average, which I'm showing on screen here, the exponential moving average template showed the automatically calculated orange line, which is the exponential moving average line. And we also did some trading signals, buy or sell signal based on whether the, when the line crosses over, uh, when the actual price line crosses over the exponential moving average line. So that is fine but it is it is very specific to that ex exact value of the exponential moving average and it doesn't really allow for any kind of tolerance around it and that is where the moving average envelope comes in so imagine that instead of this one orange line if we had a band or a region instead of one line if it becomes a region then there is more tol tolerance and then you can your trading signals can be more accommodating because it was it is not going to uh, immediately fluctuate above and below if there is a band around it so it is a little bit um, more accommodating of smaller variations so that you don't end up having too many um, signals and that is the purpose of having a an envelope around your moving average so think of it as a region around your moving average. Now we'll go into the, the template and I'll show you what that actually means. But the reasoning for why we need a moving average envelope is because the, this is just a line which is a moving average and we are building a, an envelope around it. So let's go into the second part of the video where we have the moving average envelope template. So this is the template that you can download from the link we will provide in the video description below. And you can see that there is a, a region or an envelope, a shaded area around um, the price line. And the shaded area is built based on an exponential moving average line, but then we have a, an envelope around it. So the envelope here is 10%. So we have the envelope percentage, which can be entered here. I've entered 10%. And you can see the the area will become narrower when I change the envelope percent to be 3%. And if I make it 15%, it'll become uh, wider. And so this is nothing but building an envelope around the exponential moving average. And I'm not showing the exponential moving average line here. I am showing the price line here. The closing price is the blue line. And we can still do the trading signals based on this. And I'll talk about that just in a little bit. But before that, if you're downloading this template, if you would like to change this information for any stock symbol, so you'll just type in, for example, I'm gonna to go to Microsoft MSFT. So I type that in, and now you see that it actually went and pulled the data live from the service, and it's displayed it for us. And this looks like the band is pretty wide, so if I, if I change my envelope to be 3% again, and now you start seeing um, that there are some signals. So how to use the template? Just type in your stock symbol and it'll get updated. If you actually, um, the stock symbol doesn't automatically come in. Let's try for example, MSFT. Now Excel doesn't know which Microsoft are you talking about because there are multiple exchanges where Microsoft is traded. So here, if I select um, the, the NASDAQ, then I get this information. Same thing with any stock. If you know the exchange abbreviation, you can just type it in, colon, and then the stock symbol. And in one of our previous videos, we explained a lot about what the stock stocks data type is. So if you haven't seen that video, I would highly recommend looking at that. The other input parameters you have here are the, the slicer here for how much duration or the time period of data that you want to display on the chart. So I can change this to six months. So now you see that I am plotting six months of data and I can do one year. Um, I can even do up to five years. And so you can modify this according to the analysis that you're doing. So let me go back to six months again. So this is what it is. You can also change the interval of measurement or interval of the price here 
to um, instead of daily, I can do weekly. And now again, immediately updates one data point per week. And we can also do monthly. The other specific input parameters for moving average envelope are you can control the EMA length. So as we discussed in the previous videos, the exponential moving average um, needs a length. B basically, how much duration do I need to go to calculate my average? And by default, we have put in as 21 day, 21 periods. So if I go back to daily, we're talking about 21 days uh, is the input to the EMA calculation. The exponential moving average or EMA is used in this template, um, but uh, as a concept for moving average envelope, it can be done using the simple moving average or weighted moving average or exponential moving average. We're just using the exponential moving average uh, in this template. The other input is the source. So whether we have to calculate this based on the closing price or opening price or high, low, volume, you have all these options. The closing price is the one that's most often used. And then we already talked about the envelope percent, so you can change it to a wider envelope um, or to a narrower envelope, depending on what kind of trader somebody is, depending on how their strategy needs to be, they can change it. Now let's talk about the trading signals. The buy and the sell signals are indicated on the chart. The red, um, the red circles indicate the sell and then the green triangles indicate the buy signal. I, I have written here um, what the signal strategy method is so what when would be a buy signal a buy signal is generated here when the value actually the the price of the uh, the closing price here pierces through the envelope and comes below so you see the green triangles here the green triangles are points where the closing price went outside the the moving average envelope, the gray, the shaded area. And that is why the buy signal is generated. And then the opposite one is if the closing price pierces the upper envelope. And so it in this case, for example, it went above and it pierced the envelope and went above it. And that is the point of a sell signal. And so the template will automatically calculate the buy and the sell signals for any duration. So like I mentioned, if I want to do one year, again, you'll see a lot more signal points and you can bring it down to a shorter window if you'd like. So that's the trading signal strategy. And as I've said in the, all the previous videos, there is no magic stra magical strategy. Uh, everybody ha can build their own uh, methodology. I'm just using what I've learned from the book as well as what I've seen online as the more commonly used approaches and I will also provide links in the blog post to uh, articles that you can read on the web, um, which uh, talk about these strategies. Now, for the last part of the video, I wanna talk about the uh, behind the scenes, like how the template actually is built. So you can go ahead and modify if for any reason you would like to modify. So let's go to the help sheet. And in the help sheet, if it is hidden, um, you can right click unhide and unhide the sheet, um, unhide the help sheet. And this is the this is what it does. The main thing I want to inform you about here is column S is where we are calculating the exponential moving average. Then we calculate the the lower line or the lower envelope line and then the upper envelope line. So it is a very simple formula that says take the EMA and then minus whatever the envelope percentage is like it's three percent then subtract 3% of EMA from EMA. That's what it's basically doing. And then when I go to the upper, it'll just say EMA plus 3% of EMA. And that is the upper envelope line. So once we calculate these two uh, upper and low, lower and upper lines, then we can define the signal strategy. The signal strategy is defined as I was explaining the strategy. I've just written that in a if then um, if uh, then else type of uh, statement using the if function and again very straightforward if you download the template and if you need if you have questions on it please let me know and I'll be happy to address those questions and then using the signal column then we create two columns one is for buy and one is for sell and these two columns are what we plot on the chart if I go back to the chart 
if I right click on the chart and I say select data and I can see that there is an upper and a lower um, series and these refer to those two columns in the help sheet and you already know the source is the blue line that is plotted uh, the buy and the sell are the two columns um, uh, that I was talking about as the final two columns. The upper and the lower are the uh, two columns that I showed. Let me quickly show. The upper and the lower are these. The buy and the sell are those two. And that's it. So once we do the calculations here, bring them in over to the chart, then everything becomes dynamic. And, uh, you know, from the user perspective, just type in the stock symbol, interact with it to dynamically change the chart see the trading signals and make use of it in your analysis of the stock. Um, so that's the purpose of the template. Uh, I hope this is useful. If you have any suggestions on how to make this template better or any of these videos in the series better, please uh, look forward to your suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. If you do find this uh, video helpful, please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already so that you can be notified of the, all the future videos. We are still, you know, we still have a long way to go to complete this series of 30 videos. Uh, but I think we are getting pretty close to the midpoint. So lots of good um, information out there already. Again, download from Inzara.com. I'll see you tomorrow in a, another video with another template. Thank you very much for watching.